Okay, it's 4.30 on a Friday and uh, it's too late to really start another big job. Of course, all my work is big jobs. But these are small jobs that I'm working on here. These are Subaru 360 engines, cores and things. I did a video recently about how to get the stuck pistons that have been rusted in there for years and years and years. You can see this one, it's got some damage, that cylinder bore. Uh, I did a video about that, I think about a week ago. If not, I'll try to attach it to this video. But this is a Subaru 360 uh, engine case. Basically the engine is on this side. You've got your cylinders, your pistons, your crankshaft. And then over here, you can't really tell, but there's a, a small gear which drives the, basically the transmission gears. So this half the engine, this half is the engine, and this half is transmission. So this is gonna be a little bit of a Subaru 360 101 tech video on the floor here. I have a complete Subaru 360 engine out of a sedan. You can see the complete engine here. So I'll, I'll detail some of the parts, some of you don't know. Um, we'll start over here with the cooling system. So on this side of the car, there's a vent in the side of the fender and this big fan here draws in air. The crankshaft turns this way. The air that's uh, created by the pumping forces of the fan are blown through the top of this duct around 90 degrees across the top of the cylinders and out the back of the car. The vents being like that. That's not a Subaru 360, but I think you get the point. So we've got a, a side draft 28 millimeter carburetor. It is a Solex, I believe. Our starter is right down here. It's pretty big compared to the engine, our generator. We have a cute little distributor here with two contact leads and it fires the, uh, the cylinders accordingly. And on the back of the engine, underneath the cooling shroud, we have our differential down here. So our drive axles would go one to each wheel. We have our exhaust manifold, which the exhaust exits on this side into the bean somewhat of an expansion chamber, although I don't think it really is more of a resonator, and then out the muffler. And on this side, the exterior of the exhaust manifold is used for heat. So there's a little bit of air that's blown from the fan into the skirt or the housing of this heat exchanger, and it blows a little bit of air into a tube, and then you can control it for the car. So that's your heat system. Pretty ingenious. And over here, we have our clutch our drive mechanism for the distributor, and then underneath there's an oil pump. Pretty neat packaging system. I mean, you've got two feet by one foot, per se, by one foot. That's four speed, 25 horsepower, pretty tightly packaged. And getting back to my point, it's late on Friday. This is an engine that the crankshaft will only rotate about 300 degrees. I think there's some carbon or something stuck in the, uh, in the bottom of the crankcase here. So I'm trying to determine if this crank is good. I just pulled the pistons out and I've been pulling out little pieces of carbon that's been stuck in there. This engine has been sitting under a work, wood person's workbench and I think there's some sawdust in there. This is a good example of how the drive gears work. You can see this is connected to the crank. Well, actually this would be connected to the clutch. This is the, the crankshaft, so that's spinning all the time. When you engage the clutch, you engage this gear, which would then engage the drive gear for the transmission and then off to your whatever gear you select and out the output shaft for the gear. So I just took these parts off, drained the oil, and I'm getting ready to pull the crankshaft out of here. This was one of the engines that I featured in a, in a prior video about the pistons being stuck. And of course those pistons are over here. They are not pretty. You can see this one's shorter than that one because it's all beat to heck. So the stock Subaru cast aluminum Ampco pistons and um, now we have new forged pistons available. So that's our tip and trick for the day. <clears throat> I'm gonna take this crankshaft out, make sure it's good. If it is good, I'll probably clean up this gearbox and reuse it. I'll look at the synchros and make sure they're good. If not, replace them, check the bearings on the crank, check the bearings in the, in the transmission housing, and I've got some upgrades to do to this driven gear so it doesn't fall off and then the overdrive and I might put that in a car. <clears throat> so stay tuned for a future video, video there. And then back to these engines, they are works in progress as well. Beautiful little things, aren't they?
<laughs> All right. Thank you for watching.